All right, how you doing? Check it out, look. We, this is gonna be my first time ever riding an Aprilia, one, and uh, I have my friend here that's gonna get, let me have that opportunity to ride his bike. Uh, this is a Hyper Naked. That's Hyper yeah. Naked. So it's gonna be my first Hyper Naked, and uh, I'm pretty grateful. So I'm a. I'm gonna pass you on to Chris to explain to you guys why he chose this motorcycle. All right, this is Chris's, what year is it? It's a 2022. So what, what bike is this? Uh, an Aprilia Toyota V4 factory. Right. It's an 1100cc. Why, uh, why the Aprilia? And what were your options, how about that? I really wanted a CB1000R, but uh, right now the market's just insane. Uh, after markup, tax, title, and fee and all that, all cool. Um, I was looking at about like 17, no, no, sorry, sorry, I was looking at like 16, 15 out the door. Um, and I figured like for five grand more, I get all the bells and whistles and just go for the Aprilia. Um, it's got the oldest suspension. It's got the quick shift up, down, uh, auto blip with downshift as well. Uh, it's got the cool looking swing arm, but I've read that it doesn't do much, so I don't know. It's just like the MotoGP stuff if it's flipped upside down. That's not something that really got me, but you know, it's cool. Uh, but honestly, mainly the suspension. We got Brembo brakes as well. Um, and then it's got a lot of electronics. The electronics are really sweet. I mean, it's, it's insane, but yeah, that V4 uh, power plant is, is mainly what made me go for it. Uh, once I saw that I could get one of these at MSRP, if not just for a couple little hundred bucks under, which is what I got it for, um, this thing, this thing is, I'm actually really glad that I went with this over the CV. Uh, but more than anything, I also had a friend really give me like some insight on what would be the most beneficial platform for my business. And I figured the V4. Um, I've never owned a V4. I've never owned a leader bike period. This is an 1100, so this is my first big bike. Uh, biggest displacement I've owned is a 750 GSXR. Uh, but this is a lot of fun. All right, so this gentleman's gonna let me ride the bike and uh, well, any tips for me for my first ride? Um, what do you want me to do? What do you nah, want? Go have fun. Me? Honestly, just go have fun. You know, start off slowly. Use a quick shift up and down. Get used to that. Um, and maybe try out the different modes. Literally, just by switching this button, the moment you close the throttle, it switches the mode. I'll be honest with you. I'm probably going to just hit sport. <laughs> and just go for I it. Usually yeah, just that's what I sport. just say. Go for sport. That's what I did. Just to get off the lot of sport and just be careful with the throttle. Yeah. Easy. That's it's all, it. It's all throttle control. Like, is like, um, the one thing you'll notice is like, you know, you really want to get those RPMs a little up there because if you let the clutch out at low RPMs, this thing like, like it, yeah. you know, it, it really like boggles to get up. So you got to get those RPMs a little high and then, you know, take off. But if you're going really slow and you don't pull in that clutch and get those RPMs up, the bike just like, How about uh, your Aprilia versus the, the Harley? I'm not gonna answer that. All right, Chris, I'm gonna take your baby. I promise I'll be safe. Fun. I'll be back. I yeah, I'll, I'll switch it up. You got it? Let's see how the clutch is going down. Woo! This is butter, bro. This is butter. I see what he's talking about in the low gears. All right, so we're taking out the bike for the first time. 
I'll give you my impressions, a little small review. I understand what he's talking about on the low gears, it kind of rattles a little bit. But holy hell, this thing is. <laughs> It picks up, holy. The power delivery, I believe we're on sport mode. Yeah, sport mode. Quick shifter, easy. Honestly, this quick shifter compared to my uh, MT-09, it's, it's just butter. Let's see, let's see some downshifts. Nice. Brakes, solid. Look at that, barely holding on and it just gives me the power. Just locks down nicely. So this is my first ever Italian bike, one, and uh, Aprilia, two, and Hyper Naked, three. <laughs> and how old do I feel right now? How does it make me feel? All gittery, jittery. It feels so solid, so planted. I mean the power delivery is there. It just you you ask you ask of it and it's just there. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to uh, make a short little ride. I know he's letting me ride it as long as I want. Oh yeah, I can feel it. It's and it feels all jumpy when you're on a uh, low gear. So far, uh, it feels great. I needed to ride it in the canyons and, you know, take it through its paces to kind of get the actual feel of the bike. But I like it. The digital screen is great. Um, gives you all the information you need. Uh, I'm not gonna really try any other modes just cause, I don't know, I like everything in sport mode to be honest. But even in, even in, uh, on, in this aggressive uh, mode, it's just, uh, Nothing's too crazy, it's not too choppy. Besides the low RPM. The exhaust note, it definitely needs an exhaust. It's quiet. You barely hear the exhaust. Man, she is nimble. She's super light, nimble. My uh, my body position is really nice. I don't feel uncomfortable. The bars that are a nice height uh, versus my uh, MT09, the the bars are uh, were super high, so uh, I had to modify them just a little bit, just to get a give it a little more aggressiveness. Uh, this one is probably right right where the money's at for comfort for me. I probably wouldn't change the bars on this one. But yeah, so that will conclude the little quick ride. Yeah. What do you think? It's so it's dope, dude. Exhaust. It needs an exhaust, hundred percent. Yeah, it just needs an exhaust. Um, I under. I I totally uh, agree with you with the whole rattling in the beginning. Yeah, that's like it kind of bothers you a little bit, and, and I don't know. Is that the clutch or what is it? Yeah, dude, no, she's great. I mean, um, yeah, I, mean, I didn't go crazy, dude, because I don't want to. It's your, it's your baby. I know, but like, it's traffic. It's your baby. It's new. I, I respect it. You know what I mean? Um, but once you do the oil change, I'll definitely uh, do a full, full review on it and 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 write it and take it to through its paces. 
Um, but yeah, no, dude, it's great. Hey, the, the freaking throttle on it, it's like smooth, but it gives you the power instantly. You know what I mean? These, this one you can wheelie no problem. This with uh, just no clutch, just straight power, it'll, 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 go, it'll come up 100%. Nah, great. I love it. I love it. I don't like the rattling in the beginning, to be honest, but I know that's just because I'm not used to it. What's this yellow stuff here? Is that normal? Hey, bro. These? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I was like, I didn't see it on this side, but I did see it. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? Nah, I like it, dude. Oh, you know what? It's it's so freaking aggressive when right here on this end, right? It's very aggressive when you're sitting, but the handlebars are. I think it's a it's perfect, cause like obviously your R6 is really low. This one is even lower than my MT09, but perfect if that makes sense. Cause I had a I had to lower the MT09 just to get it a better you know positioning. But yeah, yeah, it's cool. I like it. Good pick. My first Italian. I mean, I didn't really write it. I'll be honest with you, but uh, I know you, so it's not like you're going anywhere. We're gonna be fucking writing often, so. Uh, the switch is pulled down, down, and then hit it. Down. <laughs> um, you know, Chris is my friend, so you'll see this bike uh, in future videos. Um, now, if you guys want to show some su support, um, I'm going to link uh, my buddy Chris. I call him the mechanic because he's a mechanic. And uh, if you have any uh, questions or, or uh, need help with a certain uh, bike or whatnot, um, I'm going to put all his uh, socials in the description. Uh, so if you want to see more about this bike, uh, he's planning to put up a couple of vi uh, some videos on this. And uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, go to his channel and show him some love and uh, check out his experience. Alright y'all, peace out. Thanks for watching the video.